Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to Z your F100, the frame in the front. We're going to be doing a 3 inch Z. I'm not going to be showing you guys how to pull off the front, the engine, and all the other stuff. I feel like if you're going to be Z in your frame, you're capable of doing all that stuff. So we've got it down to where we're about ready to Z it. I'm going to tell you a couple things I did before that, just backtrack a little bit and show you guys what, what you might need to do if you haven't made it that far. But uh, pretty easy process, really. So... Uh, I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you guys uh, where I'm at right now and uh, and what we're going to do. All right, so we got the camera around. You can see we've, uh, we're getting ready to do the uh, the Crown Vic swap on the front here, so we've got everything cut out. Uh, but this video is on how to do the Z. We're going to be Z in the front of the frame three inches. So this is what we need to do. You're going to need to get your cab up. If you haven't done, no, if you don't know how to do that, um, you need to raise your seat forward. There's two bolts behind the seat inside the cab. You'll pull those out. And then in the front, there are two bolts. There's one in here and there's one on that side over there. You'll pull those. Pretty simple process to get that cab up. Um, there's many different ways to get it up. I'm using my lift. I'm going under it there, raising it up. We only need to go up. Um, I've done this in the past. I've only came up about a foot. Uh, the more room, the better. So I've got it up kind of high. Anyway, you only need a foot. If you don't have a lift and you, you can only get it up, if you can only get it up, man, maybe about a foot, just really enough to get this cab mount off, do your work, come up three inches, and plate that back in. That bolt doesn't belong there. I've just got that in there because that, that thing's ready to fall down. Okay, so you'll get your cab up. Once you got your cab up, this thing's going to have several rivets in it. One there, there, two over there, a couple here. I think that's it. So I take my grinder and grind a couple little crosses in that thing and take your air chisel, pop the top of those off, and then get your chisel and then pop them, pop those rivets out like that on the top, grind them down, pop them through. Okay, now once you do that, pull this bolt out, take this thing off. Okay, so one thing else I like to do before I pull this off is go ahead and get you a marker and grind across this thing level where your frame's going to be because we're going to be cutting this whole chunk off because this thing is going to be down in a different spot. So go ahead and mark that. It's a good time to mark that and get it off. Now once you pull this thing off, you can see where it used to mount up at. Now there's just a random circle in the middle here and on the other side somewhere. It's one of those circles. There, man, there's a lot of circles in that thing. Anyway, it's one of those circles. It's going to be right behind that when you pull it off boom there's a circle so I'll go back a little bit and so before you even do this you want to make sure you got your truck level so I got I put a level on the bed right there and got it level and then um, I come up and about the most levelest spot on this frame that we use is about right in here this area you can see across the top of that one that little area so throw your level on there make sure you've got this thing level once you've got it level now we're here where we're at Okay, so let me show you how I get these marks right here. All right, we're back over here. So many different ways to do this. Got the level on there, you can see she's level. So with that being level, you can come over here and take your level and run it, run it about. So some reference dots that I like to use is these three holes, one, two, and then on the bottom, you can see the third one. They're pretty much gonna run center with all those so if your lines are running good with those then you're on track but anyway you can you just need to get this level so hold it kind of center with those two holes check your level until you get a level and then mark it all right then you're going to take your square get it up here and just bring that line across the top and the bottom that's just so you can have a straight line whenever we cut this all right now we're going to get ready to make our three so don't just hook this thing to the bottom of the frame and pull straight up and think it's going to be the same on both sides because it's not. So some reference holes again that I like to use is going to be this bottom hole right here. So over on the other side, it's about an inch and a quarter to the top of that hole. Over here, it's not. So we went with an inch and a quarter. So instead of hooking it on the bottom, run yourself. You see, I got a little red dot there. Run yourself um, one and a quarter to the top of that hole. That way, your marks are going to be exact on both sides. So I like to do, I like to come up one and a half and four and a half. That's going to give us our three inches right there. You see that? They give us a little chunk on the bottom and a little chunk up top. So 
Um, like I said, you don't want to hook it over here because if you do, you can see there that we're almost a quarter inch taller over here if we hook that bottom and your frame's going to be a little wobbly. So use some reference points. Get yourself a hole and boom, mark it up one and a quarter from the top of that right there and then come, then we come up to one and a half, four and a half. All right. Now that we've got that, get yourself a level, come over to your dots that you made and get that son of a gun level you can see we're level right there mark it straight across that way you know you're level and everything is square same thing on the bottom get that one marked now if you want to make sure that everything is square you can get yourself a big square put it up here on the level part where we think is level drag it over and let's just see how close everything looks let's see what am i doing here oh some junk up there all right, we got her pulled over. You can see there, she's pretty damn square. We've got it on the flat part up there. We gotta hold it because the frame kind of flops around. But if we hold it up here on the flat part and come over, you can see we're square. So I trust that. And now to make sure that you're right on both sides, some stuff, because when you put this, this thing could be twisted a little. Um, you could be forward, back. Ugh, whoops. So you can see this top hole, we're back maybe about an eighth inch from it. So we'll look on the other side. Boom, about an eighth inch back from it. So we know everything's gonna be good and square. Our lines are matching up on both sides. That one's a little above that hole. These three are lining up all the way across the top and the bottom on both sides. So everything's good forward, up and down and all around. All right, now our next step is gonna be We've got it secured back here on jack stands, so this end is not gonna fall up or down. We are gonna get ourselves, um, I'm actually gonna throw my bumper on. I like to do the bumper when I do this, so that way it doesn't twist and flex in and out on the front. But I am gonna get, we're gonna get ourselves a little piece of metal, weld it from here to there on the top and the bottom, so that way it doesn't flex in and out and up and down and all around. And once we do that, you can see we got the back secured with the jack stands. We're gonna need to get some jack stands in the front too. That way when we cut this, this ju doesn't just slam to the ground. And then we're gonna put the, um, I'm gonna run the jack in the front right there and jack it up and hold that. That way whenever we do cut this, we can uh, drop our jack stands down to the, that way our lines. Oh yeah, let me show you what we were supposed to do with the lines right here. <laughs> I kind of forgot that part. I showed you guys where to mark the lines. So when we cut that, all right, we're gonna drop that. We're gonna raise this up three inches, okay? That's gonna drop this part down three inches. So we're going to we're gonna cut this right here. And we're gonna take this bottom line right here and meet the top line on that one. We're gonna raise this up right here, so that way now this line is running along with this line, and they're one solid line. From there, we're gonna tack weld what we've got in place to kind of hold it, and uh, we'll go from there. But that's what you. That's the point of these lines right here is to bring that one up and get it level, and that's gonna be exact three on both sides. So back to what I was saying, that's what we're gonna do with that. Once we cut it on both sides, we'll lower the jack down, lower the jack stands down until, actually we're not gonna lower them down, we're gonna raise that up. We're gonna raise that one up, raise that up, and then we're gonna tack weld it, and then we'll come to the front and do the front. All right, you guys see we got that bar welded across there um, just to make sure everything's square. Find yourself a reference hole. Again, I found a hole here that's the same on both sides. I put that bar with it. That way everything is good and square. Uh, got the bumper back on. You don't have to do that. Some dudes, like I said, weld a bar on the top and the bottom to keep me from having to weld a bar on the top and the bottom and grind that crap off. I just put the bumper on there, man. Keeps my holes good and let true on the front. So um, you can see the bumper's a little worn out, so we're not worrying about getting dust on it or anything like that. So front's good and true right now we've got that on there at this point i think we're gonna get on our stool and we're gonna go ahead uh actually we want to throw some jack stands under here to hold this so it doesn't drop get your jack set up in the front so this doesn't slam to the ground then get your grinder and cut this right here now i'll leave maybe the top here and then i'll jump to the other side and cut it and then when i get to that top i'll go ahead and cut it cut this one that way this one doesn't isn't just dangling around the whole dang time uh but yeah that's what you need to do that's what we're gonna do Let's get it. When everything stays good and level, um, push your jack up to 
to its highest point to where it's touching, it locks in place. And then you see how the frame kind of slopes down? Just push it back towards that slope until it kind of wedges in. Don't push it too much because then it's going to raise up the frame a little and throw your, throw your levelness off. So just roll it over until it touches it. Maybe just give it a tiny little push up in there and then you're good. All right, everything's set up for us. We've got our safety gloves. We've got our grinder ready to go. All of our lines are made up. Uh, jack stands in good and solid. We got our jack up here. Um, it's easy to center it. You know, you got your plate, two holes, kind of center it. Uh, we got just a little tension on that. That way it doesn't slam to the ground. So let's get that grinder, get your safety glasses, and let's start cutting on that thing. Okay, you guys seen what I did there. Pretty standard, just cut the dang line across the top and the bottom. Uh, now she's loose. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna raise these up right here and the jack kinda together until this bottom line meets, meets that top line there. That's gonna raise that up and then we'll make sure that it's square, you know. You'll be able to tell because this thing's dang leaned out like that, you're gonna notice the gap in it. So it's not that dang hard. Just get the line up there, make sure she's smushed in and looking pretty square, throw some tacks in it. We're gonna do that and get it all tacked in and we'll show you the next step. All right, we've got it all finagled into place now. So you'll want to get yourself a level. Can't use a long one because our bar is welded in there. So we got a little short level. Uh, so pretty standard stuff, man. Jack your jack up in the front. Work this right here in the front until your frame is back level. Don't worry about lining up these marks right here yet until you get it level first. Because as soon as you get these things level and then you go and check, go or get these lines marked, uh, made up right here then you'll be off level so get it all level first you can see we're good and level here and over there so then we'll come over here and our lines are lined up pretty dang good i'm gonna have to push this up just a hair but no big deal we'll be able to line that up whenever we come in here and tack weld this so get this lined up throw yourself a couple tack welds go over there get some tack welds on that and then man we've got the found we got it pretty much started i'll show you guys where to go from there All right, we've got that welded in. You can see our line is there. So we need to box all this in now. My very first time I did that, I thought it would be easy just to get some square tube, cut a triangle, fill that in right there. Simple, but it was not. Um, your lower control arm comes in and the bracket ends up being somewhere really close in here and it was kind of bumping into it. So I don't recommend doing that. I recommend chopping off the back a little bit. And we're gonna make a little plate that's gonna be, it's gonna run across this there and in a in the bottom you know we're just going to make it like a little cap plate we're going to do it here also actually it's going to be like that so there's no really science where's oh crap my levels over there no really science into where you want to do this just make it look kind of good and be the same on both sides so this circle right here i just kind of split we're going to we know we need to come from here down into over there so just started it at where this is at you know split it with that circle right there and just run you a straight line and you can do the same thing over there with that circle too that way you're the same on both sides and uh, then get you a square on the bottom mark it across the bottom it fell across this hole right here right across the front of it on both sides so now we're going to get our grinder we're going to cut that out and we're going to finish taking our template here and i've got it to where it's going to hang over two inches up there 
and then we're gonna have the body of it along that and then it's gonna bend and come over about two inches there but let's cut that and we can go ahead and finish making this template our cardboard and then we'll go over there to the plasma cutter or the plasma table we'll set that up and we'll let it cut our brackets for us all right we've got our top plate bracket there built up on our cutter we're going to cut it out on our table here now if you guys don't got one of those just take your metal set this on the metal and draw around it with a marker cut it out with your grinder it's just that easy all right so we've got it programmed in we're going to start cutting All right, we got our bracket, guys. That was pretty easy. Um, I took a grinder and cut some relief cuts in it right there so that I could bend it, because this is 3 16 so this is some, some thick stuff. So this is the angle we're gonna use. It fits it perfect, I'm gonna show you guys, and then we're gonna make three other. We're gonna use this as our template, and we're gonna make three other ones. So we're gonna take this, drop it right in there. See how perfect that fits? We'll clean it up a little bit. But she fits perfect in there, like it was made to be. And then we'll take it, same thing, go on the top. Like I said, we're gonna make four of these. It's gonna go right on the top right there, both sides. All right, now that we know that's good, let's cut out three more of these and get them bent up. Okay guys, you can see we got that plate welded on. It's on the top and the bottom there. We've got it welded in anywhere that we could get contact on it. We've got it underneath, underneath there. Um, Let's see, I welded it down that seam there and then also underneath here too. So she's welded all in place right there. We've got the top one and the bottom. So now we're gonna get a, we're gonna run over there to the DG, get us a poster board, come over here and we're gonna mash it flat to this. And then on the inside, we're gonna trace along that and we're gonna run it back to about here and somewhere in there. And we're just gonna trace along it and get our shape and we'll go over to our metal. We're not gonna use the plasma cutter on that one because this thing's, that thing's pretty crazy. No, we are gonna use this plasma cutter, not the plasma table. Yeah, we'll get it traced out on some metal. We'll use this plasma cutter and cut that son of a gun out and stick it up there. We'll grind it down and weld that thing in place. And then we also need to make a little fish plate on the inside. We haven't done that yet. Right there, that metal butted up. We're gonna run a big fish plate in here to connect both of those and weld that in good and solid there too. Okay, let's run to the DG, get a poster board. All right, we've got our template made up here. I've got this one marked. This is the inside on the driver's side, right? This is the inside here. It wouldn't be like that, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, fits up there nice and perfect. That's gonna look good. We'll get that welded in. First, we need to grind all this up so that way we have something fresh to weld to. But keep up this because this is gonna work on the inside plate and it's gonna work over there too. So we're gonna need four of these things. So let's go make, we're gonna set them on some metal, some 3 16 Trace it out, cut it out, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, we've got our plate cut out now. That fits up in there nice, looks good. We've got it ground all the way around so we can get it welded in. But before we get too far, we need to make sure that we get the spot for our cab mount to go back in. Now, uh, this is pretty simple, I'll show you. Let me set up the camera and I'll show you exactly how I do it. First, before I set up the camera, let me just show you a couple reference holes. Okay, you see the two holes that came with it right there? All right, they're still gonna be in the same spot on this back half. The other one's moved up, but our other ones, we've got one here and we've got a half of one on the bottom. That's another reason why I like to keep this bottom hole because if we cut it off, it'd throw off our alignment. So we've got these two. Now, if we line up these two with those two on the side, then it's going to be at the right angle. It can't be off. So I'm going to line up these two, and then wherever this one falls, we're going to put a mark there, and we're going to drill that in. Get yourself a marker, and then if you can see these two holes, just get it lined up with it. Get that top one in. Get that bottom one lined up. Once you think you got it in a pretty dang good spot, come over here and mark this hole. 
double check looks good now we've got that hole so all that's going to be left when we get ready to do this we're not going to bolt this back in this is going to be welded back in but the reason why i go ahead and drill the hole is that helps me with alignment whenever we get back because we're going to put this plate over that and it's going to block it so i'm going to come to the inside in there and drill back through that hole and bust it back through and that one that will give me whenever we put this plate back on we'll have these two holes and that'll give me whenever we come and line this back up as long as those two holes are straight then we're back in there good and then from that point we're going to uh you can tell there's some overhang i'm not sure if you can see from that camera angle but there's some overhang on this side we're just going to take a straight we're just going to take a marker and run a straight line right here so that way it doesn't hang down and look weird we'll just mark it and then you'll cut that off same thing over here there's a little bit hanging over there and then from there we're going to weld this thing in place so we don't have to worry about bolting it back in it's going to be welded in place all right we've got our alignment hole i don't we don't have to make it any bigger just that hole's good enough that way we can come around through the back and poke that back through this front plate that one and that one is all we're going to need so let's go ahead and get this put up in place right there and get that welded in All right, you can see we got the cab back on. I got really carried away yesterday working and uh, didn't film much stuff, but I did show you the most part of it. So I think you could probably get it figured out with just the stuff that I showed you. We've got it capped there. Let me get a light better. We've got it scabbed there on the, in on the inside. We had a fish plate on the inside there and uh, got our cab mount back on. That bolt fell right in place. Everything worked out really good. So uh, you can see there where we trimmed the bottom of the cab mount off. It was hanging down. And then also, I've just got this, uh, I've just got this Crown Vic front end rolled under it for temporary. We had to roll it out of the shop yesterday. Just got it strapped on. But to show you where this arm is going to fall. So see, if we would have did that, um, if we would have built this out the front way, you would see where it would be running into that. So now we've got plenty of room to put our bracket and we won't have no issues with that but yeah i showed you guys how that cab mount lined back up with your holes just make sure you find you find your uh, original holes that were on this back side line it up mark that one drill a hole when you put it back on line it up with those holes weld it in place pretty simple process but that's going to finish up the back side there we still got to do our front side so we'll get our stuff together and we'll start working on this front side all right guys now we are on to the front part of the z very similar to the rear part almost the exact same so uh you want to find your location there's a lot of guys that um use this hole right here for this front hole this sway bar i would get up there and show you but i can't really do it with one hand but yeah they'll line that up with that one so if you're one of the guys that do that either way you want to come forward about two inches from that hole to the front of the truck that way it gives you plenty of line uh, room for your for your sway bar there so uh, just one spot that I usually use that always falls in in spot pretty good. If you look on the side, there's three little dots. This bottom one, I come over an inch from that, make a mark, and then run yourself a level line. And then we're going to pull from the bottom just like we did on the back. Come up an inch and a half and four and a half. Same process as the back. So pretty simple. Um, we're going to get our grinder. We're going to cut that. We're going to cut that one over there. And then this one is going to drop down. Whereas we raised up the middle there, this front part is going to drop back down. So this line's gonna um so see what we're gonna we're gonna make this line here meet up with that one. So drop it down to that one meets that one, and then we'll tack it in and box that thing in. All right, you see there we got it cut. We took the top line from this front side and dropped it down to the bottom line on the back side. And that, that gives us our three inch drop, like I said, just like we did on the back side. Uh, so we're gonna do the same process. We're gonna tack weld this in, and then we're gonna put a fish plate on the inside and scab it and put a plate in and everything we need to do and finish this up to make it look like the back side. So not too hard of a project, guys. Let's get this thing boxed in, and then I'll catch you guys back up.
All right, do a couple tacks in. We're gonna jump to the other side, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we got our welded in, both sides. Um, I'm gonna run over to the DG and get some poster board. And then, so what we need to do from here is just like we did on the back. Cut ourselves up a little, uh, just like a little plate. We'll make four of those to go one here, two, and then uh, three and four. And then we'll do the same thing like we did back there. Scab it to the side with a piece of poster board, trace around it, transfer it to some metal, cut it out, weld it to the side. Same process. So let's run over there and get some poster board. All right, we got one traced out right there. I'm gonna cut that out and then we'll bend it up and see how it fits. If it fits good, we'll go ahead and cut out the other three. So let's get this piece cut out. All right, we've got our first little plate made up here. You see what we did? We bent that. I cut, um, I grind it in there just a little bit so we could bend that easier and then I'm gonna weld that back in. But we've got our shape. You see, it sets there, looks really good. Hangs over just a little right there. We'll take the grinder and just kind of clean that up because this is actually wider and it narrows down some. So we'll clean that up. But it fits in there really well, looks really good. We'll be able to weld up all around our seams. We're gonna make four of these because this will fit here and it'll fit there too. We're actually not gonna put it right there. It's gonna go up here like that. But yeah, so that looks good. Everything turned out good. We're gonna, uh, we've got the other ones cut. Uh, we're gonna get them all bent to the same shape and then we'll weld those in. All right, guys, we got it all finished up there. Look at that. Looking pretty good. Here's our top plates that we welded on, top plate, bottom plate, and then just like we did on the back side, scab this one, scab that side, got her all welded in. Looking good, looking smooth as eggs. Look at that. So how she turned out. That's a big drop there, big three inches. That's gonna have her laying low. You can see we already got that 4.6 set in too, man. I've been working away. But yeah, she's looking good. Got her in there. That's how it's gonna look. Got her painted black, looking nice and fresh. So, uh, I hope this helped you guys if you're trying to Z your truck, your F100. This is how, this is the main, this is the process, how everybody's doing it. So, uh, hope that helped you, man. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.